First, what is Scenario? Scenario is a set of sequentially executed nodes that enable API integration across applications. Those are independent scenarios and this is a node which is a part of another scenario. That's late node main page where you can see all of your scenarios. You can add them to folders and add the new folders here. Also there is a search bar with some filter. Here it is. Every scenario has its options here where you can enable or disable it, move it to another folder for example and delete, export and copy it. You can sort your scenarios by name, whether they are active or not active, creation date and type. Also, if you click here, you'll see all the active scenarios and here all inactive scenarios. To create a new one, you need to click here or here. What we can see here, first, we may give a title to our scenario. And here we have some options. We may choose the scenario type, will it be independent or just a node. We can check its history and delete it. Here in the middle, we can add our first node. Let's add webhook trigger. And down here, we have a save button. Click it as often as it's possible. Let's save our scenario. And now let's add node clicking on this button. Why not? Um, let it be JavaScript. To connect them, we need to do this. Or we may click here and add node that would be already connected, like this one. It doesn't look really straight, so we may click Align button. Much better. Let's save our project once again. Every node has its own params, which are customizable. Also here we have a Run Once button, which is used to activate our scenario manually, and also we can manually stop it. Here you have text that prod not deployed and dev version 4. It means that our scenarios have production and development versions, which exist separately, so you can test your scenario before production, and after you click deploy, the production version changes to version 4. And also, scenario automatically gets activated. But you can turn it off and activate it manually using this Run Once button. You can choose any version to be in production by clicking here. Choose any previous version like this or this and click deploy. In our history, which is also here, we may see history of all of our activations. And here in status bar should be a result of our scenario. Is it successful or there was some error? Also, there is a help button. So if you have some troubles, just click and ask here.